I'm John Magnuson with Campbell CV, and this is the thermodynamic disk trap. And this actually operates on the difference in velocity between steam and condensate. And inside this trap is a flat disk. That's why it's called a disk trap. So here's the disk. And uh, what happens here is condensate comes in through the center hole of this trap, hits the disk, turns and flows out. When condensate goes away, uh, then, the, then steam, will, steam enters into the, into the lower chamber and the velocity of the steam in the bottom part causes the disc to draw down and then it fills the top chamber, slams the disc shut, and then we wait for the, con the, the steam on the top of the disc to condense and then the disc will open again and we'll get another cycle, just like we're getting right now on our live board. This trap is used on high pressure applications. Uh, typically you want to be above 15 psi or higher and on uh, constant pressure applications. So it's not very good on modulation and uh, is used in, in areas where it's, very, where it's very durable. So there is no issues with water hammer but the trap does wear out, uh, the disc will wear out and it, it does have the shortest service life of all of the uh, generic steam traps.